Hello and welcome to London Visited and London Lookabout for September 2021. Before we go any further, yes, you've noticed. Where's Jaden? He's decided to take a month off, so this month you've got me all on your own. But that won't stop us from bringing you all the best things that are happening in London. It's September 2021. Well, I can't believe it. Summer is almost over. We've been up and down to London. We've got great videos coming up for you during the month of September of some of the things that we've captured. And also we'll bring you some of those during the course of this program as well. But let us tell you about some other great things that are going on. Firstly, let us tell you about 27 lions that are currently roaming around London. This is all part of the Tusk Lion Trail, and it's not to do with lions escaping from the zoo, but it's an installation highlighting the conservation of African lions, which apparently over the last 25 years have fallen by 50% in numbers. So as part of this initiative, a group of artists, musicians and comedians have decorated their own lion sculptures and are now scattered across the city for you to see and have photos, take photos, whatever you want to do. So what you'll find is Noel Fielding's Psychedelic King of the Beasts parading around Piccadilly Circus. Lee Mack has called his Three Shirts on a Lion, which is a sculpture at Bank, and Sally Wood and Jess Powers' Lion King Inspired Lion, which is in Carnaby. You can use a special map, and if you go to www tusklionetrail.com there's a map on there and you'll be able to see where the lions are all around London if you're also traveling around the country you may see these in other cities around the country as well right great thing if you saw our video last January and I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner for that we went to the Tate Britain which is on the south bank down near uh, Millbank and it had neon lights which had been put outside for Christmas to really brighten things up. Well, the great thing is the same artist uh, who is Chilla Berman has actually gone and taken some of her neon lights and added a creation to Covent Garden. Now, this creation is there until the end of October and it's free to go and see. And believe you me, if you do click in the link, you'll see some of the fantastic neon things that she set up there. So. What you can do is go down to Covent Garden Market. It's in the two main halls. That's the South Hall and the North Hall. You'll be able to go in there. Um, the centerpiece is a neon octagon, which is suspended from the center of the hall. When seeing some of the pictures, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a glowing tiger sculpture, similar to the one which is outside at the Tate's staircase, uh, which was leading to the entrance last year. Um, and she said she's so delighted to be invited for this commission. She's been drawn to Covent Garden since moving to London in the 1980s and it sees the energy and the sense of magic that she's trying to capture. So we intend to go down there at some point as well during September. So we'll bring you a video on that as soon as we can. So do you see words in rainbows is at Covent Garden. Uh, it's there till the end of October, no cost at all. But the good news is that if you go and you take a picture and you put it on Instagram with the hashtag Covent Garden in rainbows, Covent Garden will donate a pound to LGBTQI plus charity Albert Kennedy Trust for each person Instagramming a photo. So if you've got several Instagram accounts, you could actually get a lot of money donated. So that's really good. Well worth looking forward to looking forward to filming that one. Now we've got a video for you. Now we've talked about this quite a bit and this is called Van Gogh Alive. Um, we got there to this immersive, incredible experience and the video is coming on this in early September to cover it. It's an amazing experience, really highly recommend it and do the optional VR as well as it was absolutely incredible. Um, as it's being held in a couple of places, whilst the website says the tickets are sold out, it's up to you. If you can turn up early, you can pay at the door to go in. It's an absolutely incredible experience whatever you do get the option get the chance to go and do it go see it so absolutely incredible video i hope you enjoyed that we've got some more videos coming up during the show of other things that we've seen during august but let you take this tell you about some of the things that are happening here on london visited during the month of september so videos we got to come which is an unknown golden chapel uh in the center of the west end which is absolutely incredible uh, we also do some detective work down regent street and we also go to the gardens of buckingham palace and we're going to give you a sneak preview on that one very very shortly don't forget we upload videos 
videos on a Sunday, a Wednesday, and also a Friday. And our podcast continues every Wednesday as well. And a massive thank you because people are watching it all over the world. We're getting great bits of feedback. So thank you very much. And this month on the podcast, uh, we're going to be featuring Tower Bridge. And also we have a three podcast episode all about the Tower of London. So um, if you want to listen to our podcast, it's available on all podcast specialists, which includes Google, Apple, Spotify, and your favorite podcast providers as well. Right, now we want to give some name checks. So a massive thank you to some of our watchers of the month. Uh, So big thanks to everyone who's watched, listened, not only done that, given us a thumbs up, followed us on social media, and also commented as well. We really appreciate it. Now, one big thing is we read all of your comments on our London Visited channel. and we respond to each of them as well. So a massive thank you. So if you want to interact with us, please do leave a comment and we will come back to you. And it's normally quite quick as well. So a massive thanks. So first of all, big thumbs up and uh, thank yous go to um, these people that have subscribed to the channel during August. There have been so many, but we just picked out a few. Uh, Diana Time, Snow Hill 011, Harry uh, 20,001, Laura S and many others. So thank you. Uh, Really appreciate it. And also to these people who have commented and sent us comments as well by email, uh, which you can do through our website. And I'll tell you about that in a minute, um, which are to Amy Callahan, Chris Lightfoot, Steve, and plus so many others. Um, One person was really, really shocked. Uh, Incredible when we went back to them really, really quickly and we responded. They didn't actually think like other channels that we were going to respond, but we do. So if you want to shout out uh, for next month's episode of London Lookabout, then you can catch us on Instagram and Twitter at London Visited. We're on Facebook as well, and our page is at The London Visited. Or you can email me, that's londonvisited at gmail.com. Or you can just go to our website, www.londonvisited.co.uk. Now, we're going to show you a video. And this is our visit when we went to Buckingham Palace. Now, we've got this coming up in a full video very, very shortly, um, and it will be coming out in sort of early September. But we've got a related competition for you. So whilst you're watching this, have a think about, have you got a favourite picture of London? It might not be your own. It might be something off the internet, something that you've seen, something that you like. Put it on Twitter, Instagram, tag us in at, at London Visited so that we can see it and we can start sharing London together as well. We'll choose the best one. And as you can see here, Jaden's wearing a baseball cap when we went to Buckingham Palace and the winner of the best one posted will win this baseball cap uh, when we do the next London Lookabout, which is on Wednesday, the 29th of September. So good luck with that one. And here's the baseball cap. Um, And look at that. That looks rather nice with the uh, Buckingham Palace coat of arms on there. Uh, So that could be yours very shortly. And just to prove, there you go. Still got the tag on it as well. Great. Right. We're going to hit Christmas. So during the month of September, believe it or not, it gets to 100 days to Christmas, middle of the month. So a couple of things about Christmas. The good news is um, Hyde Park will be having a winter wonderland. It will be back um, as it was stopped last year for global pandemic reasons, as much of the world was. So it's uncancelled. It normally has about 2.5 million visitors every year. Um, We intend to be up there as well, but it's great news. Uh, It'll be opening from the 19th of November and go on to the 3rd of January. And you can do all the normal things, which is ice rinks, ice kingdom experience. There's a 70s disco themed ice bars. Um, There's a Christmas circus and Cirque Berserk, uh, ice sculpting workshops, uh, an alpine themed pop-up restaurant serving burgers, plus a great big wheel as well. So um, we absolutely love it down there. Now, normally it's free. You just walk in, um, but then you pay for all of the rides. This year, they're actually going to charge you. So they're going to charge £5 for standard entry or £7.50 for peak. But there's a way around it. If you spend £20 in advance online and you get tickets to go on the vouchers to go on the various rides, um, that way you don't actually get a fee as well. So uh, that's worth looking out for. So if you just Google Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2021, you'll find more details there. Right. One last thing, Christmas orientation as well. Speaking of ice rinks as we were then, one of the greatest ice rinks to do if you're in London during Christmas time is got to be the Natural History Museum over at South Kensington. And this year, more than any other reason, because it's going to be the last year that they're going to hold it. Now, the ice rink is in front of the iconic National History Museum, which is just beautiful and you'll recognise it. And I'll put a picture on here so you can see what it normally looks like. 
But what they're going to do is this is the last year it's going to run because from next year they're going to change the whole area into a biologically diverse green area, uh, which is going to be dubbed the Urban Nature Project. So the area won't be able to have the ice rink. So this year the ice rink will run from the 22nd of October all the way to January the 16th. It will see the return of the 30 foot Christmas tree at the center of the ice rink, uh, which it normally has. The cafe bar will open with its winter warmers from snacks to hot toddies and of course anything else that could be slightly alcoholic for the adults. Uh, so it's well worth getting down there. If you want more info, go to the Science Museum website. You can book your tickets now well in advance. Certainly not one to miss if you're in London around this Christmas. Actually, <laughs> You can go and do it in half term and say so you've done it, done it early at the end of October. Well, that's not a bad idea. Don't tell Jaden I said so. Right, something else that you can do in London is coming up as well. Um, if you're fancy and you're scratching your head and you're thinking of things to do, uh, you can go with your friends and challenge them to a game of croquet on the London Skylights rooftop. Now, it's a really popular roof bar, uh, which during winter has the igloos in there. So you can go and sit up there, have a meal and sit in an igloo on the top and have fantastic views across London. But at the moment, uh, they're offering you a chance to go and do croquet. Now, if I remember rightly, that's the one with the wooden hammers where you're hitting the ball along, something like that. Um, so that's over in Tobacco Dock. You can grab a drink, uh, pair up, thrash your competitors as you play the classic French game, uh, Pantique, or go traditional with a few games of croquet. If you want more information, you can go to www.skylightbars.com. And that's over at Tobacco Key over in East One. Apparently, there's also table tennis, shuffleboarding games you can also play uh, once you've finished your croquet as well. Now, something that's been getting a lot of press and publicity in London is the Marble Arch Mount. Well, we decided to visit and have a look, and here's what we found. Now, much has been said about it because of the poor reception it's received. It cost over two million pounds, and it was planned that the mound would actually bring people back to the West End after the pandemic, and also it would offer amazing views across London. Um, as you can probably see, there was a bit of an issue uh, because when you get 25 metres up in London at Marble Arch, unfortunately, you've got lots of trees and buildings in front of you. So you can't actually see that much. So it's never going to give much of a view. And as you can see here, the the um, th this was actually meant to be grass. And the reason it's brown is because it's all dead. So <laughs> what happened is when they opened the Marble Arch mound, they had sold tickets in advance. And the people that went on the first day complained so much, they got their money back and they made it a free thing that you could do until uh, the month of, no of September. So we're waiting to see what happens there. Now, if you're coming to London and want to go up the Marble Arch mound and go and see it for yourself, you can do. It's meant to be there until January 2022. Now, because it's been one of those London disasters, who knows how long it's going to go on to, but do go up there, do give it a go and do give it a best shot and see what you think, really. Um, you can also let us know by putting it in the comments down below. Right, if you're coming up to London, here's something that's well worth doing. Um, why don't you visit some of London's best toy shops? Now, we've got a list here of some of the best toy shops that you can go and visit and where they are. Um, and there's some of the obvious ones like Hamley's, which we'll talk about. But there's some ones on here that we hadn't heard of. So we're definitely going to go and do it. Now, the first one's over in Blackheath and it's called Ottie and the Bee. And it's over in Blackheath where creativity, community and playfulness collides. It's set up by the founder, Julia, back in 2010. And the shop is named after her two daughters. And it's a perfect host for thoughtful gifts, books and toys, which are perfect for kids. Um, the shop is centered around the two childhood passions of Julia, which is imaginative play and creativity. And the storefront is crafted with carefully curated goodies that both children and parents will love. So I think it's going to be one of those places that everyone's going to love going to. Um, as well as uh, being a shop, they also runs regular book clubs and plays host to workshops led by authors, illustrators and also makers. So it's over in Blackheath, it's on Old Dover Road. If you want to see their website for more details, it's www.ottie, that's O-T-T-I-E, and the B.com as in we put it down below for you. Right, the next one is Benjamin Pollock's Toy Shop. Now, one of the places that we love going to seems to be a natural attraction for us is over in the Covent Garden area. And Benjamin Pollock's Toy Shop is just over there. It's been there for over 30 years and it's loved by both children and adults alike. Um, 
When you go there, you can't miss it because the store has got bright red doors and theatrical illustrations at the entrance. In fact, if you walk past it, you actually think it's something to do with the theatre because it's got like Punch and Judy on there. Uh, but also go in there. It's, it's got some Victorian favourites in there at centre stage with toy paper card theatres. Um, once again, linking to Britain's theatrical heritage. Uh, they're elaborately decorated for birthday presents and loved ones for years to come. So if you fancy going to have a look at that toy shop that's over at Covent Garden, and that's, uh, you can find them on the website, www.pollocks-covengarden.co.uk. Hamleys. Now I'm gonna put a link, because we've been to Hamleys a few times, but there's a link up in the top right-hand corner. Um, get to Hamleys, it's brilliant. If you want to go and lose yourself for a time, if it's raining in London and you're with the kids, it's a brilliant place to go and spend a few hours. There's even a cafe up on the top floor and it's toys for everyone. And to be quite honest, I found myself going around the scale electrics and the train bit. Yeah, don't don't ask. Um, and also the Lego piece as well. Um, my only word of warning would be <laughs> it's a fantastic place, but you do pay a premium on the toys there. So if you're going to buy toys, buy them in advance um, or buy them elsewhere, but it's great to go and have a look at, but don't tell the staff at Hamleys I said so. So uh, that's a great place to go. That's on Regent Street, hamleys.com is your website for that one. Um, there's Harrods Toy Kingdom, guess where? Yeah, over in Harrods. Once again, watch the prices on that one, but also it's another great place um, to go and have a look at toys. We've been in there um, and it's separated into different sections, uh, but there's toys from old time favorites to new friendly ones. Where is it? It's Harrods on Brompton Road over in Knightsbridge and it's Hampton harrods.com is the website for that one. Um, another one which we're going to do is the Paddington Bear Shop, which is over at Paddington Station. Uh, so if you want any Paddington Bear memorabilia, and there's all sorts of stuff, Paddington Station is a must visit place. Uh, that's at uh, www.paddington.com. Com, and that's over at Paddington Station. And the final one, which is another one of our favorites, and we'll put a link up in the top right hand corner for that, is the Lego store over at Leicester Square. Absolutely brilliant. Um, if you're gonna go anywhere near Leicester Square, you've gotta go into the Lego shop. Although watch out for the queues because the queues are quite long at the moment to get in. So if you can go off peak when other people aren't up there, you can then get in there and go and see all the brilliant Lego stuff they've got. Um, and they've got some great stuff in there, including you have your photo done, which you can make into Lego. So when you get home, you can make it up. And also one of our favorite things, which is you can create your own character there as well. Um, and that we've got in another video, uh, which will be linked to this video as well. So um, it's brilliant. If you get a chance, Lego store, uh, and it's much better than the M&M world, which currently sits opposite it. Right. So they're the toy shops that you can do whilst you're in London. Final thing, if you fancy getting to know more about London and London visited, then join us on Patreon. You can go to www.patreon.com com forward slash London visited. We've got the three tiers of membership. Ruby, which is three pounds per month, uh, which has got episode suggestions, which you can make unseen footage and also photo booth access of London. So we've got photos on there of London. Um, we've got Emerald, which is six pounds a month. That's all the Ruby stuff. Plus you've got exclusive content, which is a podcast and a video each month, an annual London souvenir, and also get involved in polls. And then we've got our top range, which is diamond. That's why you are crown jewels here on Patreon. And that's at 10 pounds a month. And you get all of the stuff from Ruby and Emerald. Plus you get a shout out on London Lookabout here. Not only that, you'll also get London visited official merch on an annual basis. We'll also dedicate one of our shorts, which we upload on a Friday. One of those will be your own specific short. And we'll put that on there. So when you're actually watching in the video it'll have your name on it all the way through and also we have got a diamond discord as well so you can talk to us and anyone else that's in the diamond discord uh, on london visited about all things london so hope you've enjoyed today it's given you some ideas of some great things that you can do in London during the month of September. Jaden will be back definitely uh, for October. And until then, we will see you then. Have a great time in London, whatever you're doing. And just drop us a note and tell us what you're up to and give us some ideas and suggestions of things you'd like us to cover. Anyway, we'll see you next time for London Lookabout, which will come to you at the end of September for October. Take care. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>